Hello again. I just put a video online where it's possible to actually uh, make a full screen in VMware. That's where we are. 16.00. But it's using an ISO that will be available in the middle of, uh, well, the middle of November, right? So what if you not, do not have access to that? At this point in time, Arconex is available but it's only available with a um, let me show this one that's what i want if i say let me take an old iso so this is the very last one i built just a few hours ago and it works perfectly with vmware but what if i wanted to go for an old version like this one from september and open that up it does not have the tweaking of um, the last one I've made two hours ago, right? So here's the button for full screen or control alt enter. Should do the trick, but um, it triggers also our terminal. So just use the button up there to make a full screen. And the thing is, I discovered, right, that, um, well, I did know that, of course, but VirtualBox is our uh, official supported virtual machine but i was working on windows actually and then put vmware on there and i saw this very small window this thing i thought oh my god this is really terrible i was playing around with it and suddenly hey i figured out is it only that that you need to do right it's only that the question is what is it so this is ugly right it's not okay but Normally, I would say try this, and that's the rule. The future rule will be just activate and deactivate it again, and then it will have it. So the, the scripts are in there, the settings are in there, the tweaks are in there to just uh, change from size by clicking here a button. Now, this is the old ISO, it does not have that tweak. It's simple. Silver Pacman, whoops, let me get my Azerti. Silver Pacman. Well, let me show you the anal analysis I've made. Yay, VMware. And then I thought, nope, that's something else. I must have typed something else. Back then, hmm, I get a different result, or I may have typed something else. Well, the analysis is gone. So sudo pacman minus s, or do we first do an update? We better do an update, not to update the system because this is a virtual box and it's a live user, but just to get the databases in, sudo pacman minus s, and then open, whoa, open something. I remember it was open VM tools, slash VM tools. That's what we need. We got these things in, we have some space, it's okay, we have four gigabytes or something, a space to install stuff in the live DVD. But it's not only that, and then I thought, maybe I should activate something, right? And that is always done with this one, sudo system CTL enable something. Anything V related? Oh, look at that, there is something called VM Tools D service, okay? Let's try that out. And without reading, which probably is best, right? Arch Wiki VM Tools. And then enable is one thing, but starting is another thing. And then if that's done, you go to for this one and for that one. And then it figures it out. So the service, the package is there, the service is running, and VM Tools D services. Ah, okay. I have more real estate for my pixels, and I have now. 1920 on 1080. That's the solution. That's what uh, is going to go on the next ISO of middle of September. Uh, sorry, middle of November, right? So that's your solution. Thinking, okay, I need a package. I need to enable the service and just click on the top here, full screen, no full screen, and then suddenly says, got it. There is more real estate. All right, cheers.